Hello again, this is Thomas solving the group theory exercises and here we've got exercise number five of problem set number four where we investigate the uh, special linear real un unimodular group SL2R and its Lie group over here. So the Lie group is given by two different uh, basis vectors and the structure constants over here. So with this commutation relation we are able to calculate the third basis vector E3 with a very straightforward calculation. We just uh, multiply and sum over matrices so we arrive at this third basis vector. Now we want to calculate the representation of the this uh, three parameter group and we have to do three different exponentials over here. For example we have a1 of t which is e to the t e1 this calculation you already did in exercise number three part a and a very similar calculation is the one for e2 with the parameter tau where you have one zero tau one and for e3 you immediately spot the exponential function when expanding the Taylor series so I won't go into any details here as well. This is just e to the row 0, 0, e to the minus row. These exponentials makes it possible to construct the matrix representation with a three parameter group. This is by definition nothing else than a1 of t times a2 of tau times a3 of rho. And you just multiply those matrices together and you arrive at e to the rho plus t tau e to the rho, t e to the minus rho, tau e to the rho, e to the minus rho. And this is your solution. So this Lie group SL2R are all matrices will with real matrix elements and determinant plus one. SO2 for example is a subgroup of this group. So we can think of the SL2R as a generalization of rotations. And indeed if you remember complex analysis then you can spot the Mo Möbius transformations where you have only real coefficients. And with imaginary coefficients for example you can you can generalize this Lie group to SL of, uh, to C which occurs in physics for example when you take Lie group of Lie groups of angular momentum operators. For example for the two-dimensional SLC group it is a Fox space constructed out of two different bosonic particles. This is it. This is exercise sheet number four. I hope you enjoyed my tutorials. Please send me an email if every anything is unclear. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you.